hey my tribe welcome back once again to our channel this message is timeless if you're here it's because there's something for you take what resonates and leave the rest please like subscribe and share and check out the links in the about section of our page if you'd like to support us and help us to combat world hunger as 10 percent of all sales and donations are given to charity monthly um hey so i just wanted to say i am really glad to be back guys when I did my last live video with my friend, we were on my laptop and my friend has her own channel. So we were logging in and logging out and stuff, I guess, and I forgot my password. So somehow or another, I locked myself out of YouTube <laughs> on my laptop. And um, yeah, it took a little while to recover my account. Um, I had to wait, like, I think it was 48 hours. And then, you know, I wanted to get back on track. But here I am. Um, this message might be a little longer than usual. Um, we're using the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild and Autumn Sky, who of course we thank for dedicating their time and resources to their creativity and intuition in a time and place where it can sometimes appear that it's difficult to do this. Um, so thank you ladies. But I also wanted to say, I had someone reach out to me and tell me that they would, you know, support the channel if they, you know, had the financial resources to do so. And that's not right. We're going to wait a second. I just wanted to um, say that that is most certainly not the reason that I'm here. Your support, like just watching these readings truly means, you know, more than any money ever could to me. It is absolutely priceless. That is the reason that I'm here. I mean, what we're doing right here, right now, just by pulling these cards and reading these messages and channeling these messages from the universe, which does feel absolutely sacred to me, is rebellious. You know what I mean? In this society, even still, let alone in the past where this was enough to have us killed. So, you know, just being here is all the support truly that I need. I really love the fact that I'm able to you know, raise money for, for charity and help people eat in a place where, anyway, <laughs> um, you know, I'm glad that I'm able to do that, but please don't feel any kind of way if you're not able to support or just now isn't the time or that doesn't resonate with you. Like, ooh, sorry, my alarm is going off. Hold on, guys. Be right back. Burb. I have a 10-year-old. That's what she would say. Burb. But anyway, yeah, your support means everything. So don't feel any kind of way if you're not able to, to support us financially. That was my whole message. Like, no, just being here means everything to me. <sighs> okay, so this deck, I just want to read the back of it. It says, Sacred Rebels Oracle is for those who are ready to celebrate and nurture their individuality. When you are a sacred rebel, you want to be fully alive and express your authentic truths. You want to help heal the world, even when that means shaking things up. Sacred Rebels love life and refuse to believe that manifesting their dreams is impossible. Hello, does that not sound like my tribe? <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got today. And I'm sorry if you hear the music, my 10 year old's alarm is going off. <clears throat> dream a beautiful dream. Oh my goodness. Look how multi-dimensional this looks. Drifting in at a time. Ugh. Okay, number 19. Dream a beautiful dream. See what we have here. Ugh. This is so gorgeous. I'm excited. The urge to create is the same within you as it is for the universal creator. It also has the same magical ability to draw harmony into being and find beautiful order and chaos. Wow, this is so amazing. This includes bringing harmony and the perfect balance of well-being into your body and mind and emotions. This is also the part of you that wants to dream of beauty and bring it to life in as many ways as possible. In how you eat, dress, look, behave, make love, create art, relate to your community, Write your poetry by moonlight or bathe by candlelight. If you have come to believe that your love of beauty is superficial rather than genuine, expression of your heart's appreciation of symmetry, harmony, and grace, then you may block your ability to create harmony in your life. You may believe it to be an unworthy goal, yet beauty, genuine beauty rather than superficial glamour, flows from within. 
It is an expression of radiance within the heart and love of life. If you've struggled with the obsessive attitude towards beauty that tends to prevail in human culture, then it is time to look to nature instead. Her beauty is boundless, quirky, and endlessly diverse. If you feel blocked, thwarted, or contaminated by others in your quest to bring your beautiful dreams to life, you may feel that your heart is dulled, minimized, or shut down. I definitely understand that feeling from the past. Small-mindedness can limit beauty to a very narrow physical sense. However, you can shun the social disease of superficial, narrow definitions of beauty, thumb your nose at airbrushed images, and dare to love what is. Ah, yes! Honoring nature is one example. Give yourself permission to feel and be beautiful in many ways. You can feel harmony outside of what is supposed to be harmonious. Yes! Yes, break the rules. <laughs> I try to do that on my channel. If you guys notice, sometimes I go natural, sometimes I do makeup, sometimes I'm just how I feel. I mean, yes. Ugh. If you're brave and wild enough, you can even find beauty and harmony amongst the chaos of change. Sensing that change is just the creative process kicking into gear. Realizing there is nothing to fear brings even greater beauty, harmony, surrender, and grace to the experience. If life creating itself, of life creating itself in more stunning forms through you, you're meant to dream of beauty and to create beauty in its far more holistic and creative definition. Beauty is meant to soothe the soul, inspire thoughts of love, devotion, and appreciation, and to balance the nervous system. These are healing effects, healing for the creator and those that receive it. They are worthwhile. Oh, I just, Spirit told me to tell you it healed God to create you also. How amazing is that? And you guys know I use the term God loosely. Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whoever, however you, you know, connect with your creator. Oh, it was healing for him to create you as well. Him, her, it, yes. <sighs> healing for the creator and those that receive it. They are worthwhile. They are not meaningless, impractical, flippant, or trivial. A world without the beauty of art in all its various and unique interpretations would be less colorful, less vibrant, less cheeky, and less healing place to be. Time that you spend dreaming of beauty and allowing it to be born through you in various heart-centered ways is worthwhile. Don't disregard it or discount it. The society, the queen, is going to make you think about your time, you know, and using it for yourself in a negative way. Please don't allow that. <laughs> your time is your time. <laughs> the most beautiful dreams can inspire the practical, hardworking dedication required to bring them to life for the betterment of the world. This oracle also comes with a particular message for you. There is a situation in your life right now where you feel uncertain about your ability to fix or heal. You lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it currently seems to be. You may therefore feel in inhibited in your ability to bring about constructive change. However, the perfect beauty of this situation is not revealed by what you attempt to do to it. <clears throat> or through trying to impose the right dream upon it. It is to be healed and perfected into all that it can be through the revelation of the beauty that already lies within it. This happens when we accept the, the existence of inner harmony in all of creation, even if it cannot be consciously observed. By expecting there to be beauty within a situation, even if it is hidden, you will be more open to seeing the healing potential even in your challenges. Don't attempt to force the situation or issue to take the right shape. Instead, ask it, how, ask it to show its beauty for you. This might apply to your body, to your relationship, to your finances, your work situation, a new creative project, or anything else. That's so amazing. That's transmutation. You take energy, you know... <laughs> And turn it into what you want it to be. I, I keep the, the spirit has been telling me lately to say, "Do you want to? Do you want shit or do you want to shine?" I've been saying that. I don't. I, I don't know why. But do you want shit or do you want to shine? <laughs> In opening up to the beauty within yourself and your circumstances, you also open up to change. What we accept can change most easily. When it, it is when we resist or deny that change slows down and suffering persists. You can overcome resistance and denial by approaching it with curious mind and open it and 
You can overcome resistance and denial by approaching it with a curious mind and open heart and the healing process below. By the way, this oracle has come to you because you have the power to be a positive influence in whatever situation holds the most meaning for you right now. And you need to know that. Healing process. Imagine, visualize, or perceive a softly glowing radiant golden light within your head. It expands outwards in all directions without losing its radiance or power. Everything it touches, it casts into graceful beauty, beautiful harmony, including your mind. Be with this light. Be at peace and let it happen. When you are ready, simply open your eyes and say, The perfect harmony of beauty awakens within me and all around me. I serve that golden light in unconditional love and creative power. You have finished your healing process. How amazing. We're not limiting our dreams, guys. We're not. Anything that spirit tells us is supposed to be right is right for us right now. Okay? This world is here to confuse us. But this world is, is what's unnatural, really. I mean, this not this world, but this society and the way that most of us have chosen to proceed in it at this current time. We are supernatural, more than natural, right? <laughs> Don't let this fake world confuse you. All right, my tribe, have a wonderful day. I am so glad to be back. See you later.